Hi everyone. I thought I'd explain a few things with this recent thing that happened with GoDaddy and the, how the DNS servers went down. There was a lot of geek speak that was thrown around and a lot of people were like, what are you talking about? What are those phrases? What are those words? So I thought I'd explain a little bit about what DNS means. It means domain name server. It kind of gives the instructions to the world of where to find your website. And so your name servers, I'm going to show you some of this stuff. Let's go into domains. I'm going to launch domains and let's look at one of these. Here are all the domains that this client owns and we're going to click on one of them and this is where the information is. Yes it is GoDaddy. I'm a GoDaddy reseller. Doesn't mean I was pleased with what happened either but for the most part I'm pleased with them. But I'm still going to show you just to explain some of these terms. The name servers, when you buy a domain and you should all buy your own domains. Don't let a web person buy it in their name. It's your domain, your website, own it. Okay, you want to make sure your name is down here. See, all my clients have their names in here. Some of them has me as the technical, it depends. But always have your information in here. The name servers, actually when you buy the domain, it says where to go to get this information. So if the name server, this is a GoDaddy name server, it says to go here, to GoDaddy to find this information. If I had it on another server, if these were say to, I don't know, make one up, matriax.com, um, ns1.matriax.com, it would say go to the Matriax DNS server, domain name server, and find out where the website is. It doesn't even mean your website is hosted with the name servers. These GoDaddy ones don't have to be sitting here at all. These domains can be sitting somewhere far away they can be redirecting to something else. So let's look at this a little bit closer. I'm going to launch the domain manager and we're going to look at all the records here. For this domain, this is just for a property. We only use these actually for this client to redirect to his main website to a specific page. But what this is saying is it goes to this IP address. Our websites, URLs those are called, URLs are actually just an easier way to remember this. This with some extra file information will take them to the same place as this but this is much easier to remember for people. They're not going to remember 68.178 blah blah blah. These records, these C name records, tell people where to find other pieces of your online presence like your mail. Where is your mail hosted? Where is your site? This at symbol means it's the same place. The at, at, see how it matches? It's just shortcut for this. So we're saying the dub 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 goes to the same location. MX records, that's the mail. This was the other problem that happened the other day. Because the DNS was down, there were no instructions going to the world to say how to get to your mail servers. Even if GoDaddy didn't have your mail, it could be off with somebody else. It could be off with Google. It didn't matter. Because the domain was the domain manager and the DNS information was with GoDaddy, there was no further instructions that could be given out for people to find you, either your mail, your website, whatever it was. So that's why that happened. These are some extra records we don't use too often. These are our name servers, which we talked about earlier, to say where to find all the information. You want to make sure, though, if you own domains, that you have access to this stuff. It's yours. Make sure you have been given usernames and passwords to be able to do some of this stuff or give it to somebody else you trust other than just the hosting company to be able to help you with it when you're in a jam or you want to make some changes. You should always have total control of this information. I had a few clients after the GoDaddy episode change their name servers to other companies because their sites were sitting in other places anyway. And that's fine. Whatever works for them and makes them comfortable so that they have their plan B in place. Another suggestion too, a lot of us are so great at branding our accounts um, to have our mail match our domain. You know, wade at wadeperryproperties.com, susan at susanfinch.com. Okay, that's good branding. But you need a secondary email, something like with Gmail, some of you are still on AOL or Hotmail, fine. But you need some kind of backup email so that people can reach you when things go awry or if they do. So make sure you always have a second email address as well 
tucked away or that your web people have or that the domain companies have for you so that they can reach you if things go down in other areas. That's it for my free advice today. Thanks so much. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.